Okay, go ahead. Good morning. Um, I would like to present our group for um, Northwind Traders, our company. Uh, used to um, um, commercialize and uh, distributing the products um, of food, uh, fat, of food, fat foods. And uh, today we just here to present you our one of our operations, um, one aspect in a um, lot of our um, operation, especially in the um, computer um, technology. Uh, especially in how we use computer uh, technologies in managing our business operation. And now I would like to present our group member. This is Yu, uh, sorry, Yu Tao. And she's information consultant. Uh, Kaiwei and Kanisha. Sure. And we, sorry, we meet two other member and me, I'm in three. And now, uh, briefly talking about our um, company mission, as I've mentioned already, our mission has been to provide the consumer with the best products, best service, high quality, and every, everything that gives the most convenience to our customer in terms of highest quality products, uh, good quality service in terms of distribution, yes. and uh, anything. <laughs> So now, again, our objective is best products and best service. Mm. Best products is in terms of fresh, high quality, good, um, and the best service distribution, order, everything. And uh, now, especially today, we present you about the SS projects. Uh, as you know that we have we, um, our IT uh, team, we do a lot of um, um, work uh, to resolve a lot of problems, and especially we would like to demonstrate the, our research case, disaster recoveries. Uh, the capital case is especially in the shipping efficiency query. Uh, I just want to uh, present you all about us, and you will have um, the closer look, and you will understand better how we work. Uh, and now, I would like you to present Yuta, who will explain you our work. Yeah. So, uh, our company as an international gourmet uh, food distributor, we have huge information in our database. And here I'm going to talk about uh, filter the, um, the revenue report in database. So first of all, we need to set up there are order date periods for it. Like for example, um, we would like to know the report between the um, January 1st, 2015, uh, between uh, this uh, uh, to March 31st, 2015. And then, so then we need to open the revenue to revenue quarterly first and then in the design view in the database, it's a kind like this. And then find out the order date view. Is it right here? And then we can right click the criteria and then go to the zoom and then we can get this view. And we, we can just type in between pound first uh, one and then slash one slash 2015 and then pound and pound sign three slash 31 slash and then 2015 and the last the pound sign. When we type enter, oh, just click OK. And then we can run it and we can get the, get the result. So you need our uh, to demonstrate in real access? You need, you need to do so? So after we get that, we can go to uh, based on based on the the revenues uh, queries, we we can build a build one report, but create a new report for it. And 
uh, after rebuild after rebuild this report, we can just go to the shot editor, click the selection, and then click the e equal to confe uh, confession, and then we can get all those all those things. Okay, thank you very much, Yuka. Just a little bit um, uh, modification, like why we need to uh, do the um, um, the filter like that. For example, in our business, sometimes we need to um, to select all the um, all, all our um, clients who um, who order just uh, about the confession, so that we can manage this, this feel better to offer them any kind of promotion or to manage any kind of uh, um, late de delivery or to get the um, uh, uh, special offer or to get the contact from them so that when we can manage our information um, database like that and then um, we can manage better our business operation. Nice. Um, okay, now I would like to introduce Kaiwei for our next mission. Uh, she, uh, he will talk uh, to you about um, how to manage the curry made beverage sales. I think that's in the second model. Um, uh, our company also deals with a lot of database queries, and some, some of them like uh, would have problems from uh, some co some coworkers who are not that familiar with uh, Excel. I mean, access would have problems, and we have two cases over here. Uh, in the first one. In this uh, May uh, 2015 orders of beverages and confections, um, the, the results are showing not only results from May, but also from other months, uh, which is what we don't want. Uh, so in, in this part, we need to go to the, uh, the design view of the query and modify uh, the criteria. Um, here, as you can see, we need to set the criteria for the ship date to between uh, May the 1st, 2015, and May the 31st, 2015. Uh, so the results will only show uh, the results from May. And in the other case here, um, uh, this uh, 2015 beverage sells by uh, ship country, the original query is not giving back any results. Uh, so uh, we deal with it with a similar uh, approach. Uh, we go to design view, and we go to the uh, ship date and modify the criteria to between January the 1st, 2015 and December 31st, 2015, so that it will show only the results from the whole year of 2015. Uh, we can also set uh, other uh, settings, such as uh, setting the sort order of the ship country to setting, so that the uh, uh, results will be in a better order for the customers to read. Uh, and it's important for us to make every detail settings in the uh, design view for the curve correct so we can get to ourselves. Thank you, Gary. And next, our next mission, uh, I think that is in the module two. And uh, we will talk about the shipping efficiency in the Captain um, exercise. And uh, this side, I think that's this one. Here. Okay, um, one of uh, two our members are missing, so I will cover this one. And uh, the first mission that we will. Um, 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 establish the shipping efficient uh, query and one of the most important mission um, in the require of this question is to show any order that look that took more than uh, 30 days to ship and to do so uh, obviously you will go to you uh, you will create the query and then after that in the um, design view um, in the field of days to ship like this, and um, you tap with the, the function shift day and other day. So with the function day to shift, you can uh, get the, amount, uh, the number of days. The result will uh, display the number of days. But in order to show just, um, just the result with more than 13 days, you have to put the criteria here. Um, um, we more than thirty. So when uh, once you have put the function here, and when you have put the criteria here, and when you click on the result, will show any order that took more than thirty days. 
Yes, because uh, I, uh, I think that there are many things to do with the curry, but the, this one is the most um, important thing that we have to focus. So I just have this one. And the next mission we have to um, do about the order summary curry. And uh, again, one of the most important mission here is to show only uh, the order made between the 1st of January 2016, and this means that between the years of 2016. So to do so, again, in, um, in the field of order days, you have to put the criteria between uh, number one slash one slash one zero uh, sixteen and um, number. And remember, that is the way SS will understand uh, what you are typing um, because it's the the program like that. So if you uh, I have tried sometimes I make the mistake and absolutely you cannot get the, the right results. So again, to show the order may between the years of 2016, you have to have the criteria according to this um, setter that I have shown you. And um, yes, uh, in this uh, query, the, um, everything has to focus just, just this um, function. So. Um, and two other mission that we have to do about the, the, this case is uh, the other financing query and the other one I would like to introduce you, uh, Kanisha, who will tell you about this. So, hello, hi, I'm Kanisha. Um, Northwind wanted to create um, more finance, finance and payment options for our client. So. Um, to do so, we created a copy of the order summary query, and we um, we um, we entered the simple payment. We entered a new field called simple payment, where we went to the builder and entered a f payment function, which was um, <laughs> um, next. We wanted to be able to. Um, sorry, uh, can you catch the function? Uh, you like yeah, to look yeah. again? Okay, that's all right. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Next, we wanted to be able to um, analyze the um, orders by um, country. So again, we created a copy of the um, order summary query, and we entered country. We changed the first field to country, and we ran the query, and here's a view of what we got, and yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Kanisha. So in conclusion, just uh, after all everything we have to do in the access to manage our database, and just to say that access is the wonderful tool to do with uh, the information management that will help you um, to catch up with all the information, all the reference, and all your reports, and to do the better results of any kind of analysis. And um, also, um, if you know a little bit about Excel, and assess, and when you do the comparison, uh, I think that assess will have uh, some kind of much more better function in Excel for you to manage your database and your information. And that's the way to, uh, once you do, uh, once you do everything in your real job, in the real um, company, and uh, assess has uh, some function that will help you better than Excel. Yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, just uh, some um, some kind of demonstration for what I told you recently, like in terms of the sales representative, in terms of customer order products, and the with the form of S using asset will help you to successfully achieve your business objective. You can manage better. Thank you. Wow, and, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Good job, guys. Very good job.